Storytelling in Trinidad and Tobago is serious business. And when I say serious business, I mean people actually get paid. So uh, every year there's carnival. And at carnival, Calypsonians are there to make their money. It's between Christmas and whenever carnival lands, because it's different every year because of the, it's, you know, it ends at the beginning of Lent. And they make a whole new album every year that they are coming out with and singing. And all of the songs really are stories. And they're often political or they're often cultural commentary. You know, that is what traditional Calypso is about. And listening to Calypso growing up, you know, you, you're listening to all of these stories all of the time. And this is how people are making their money. And also, there are people on the street, like buskers, who are just, you, like you could park someplace. We used to do this um, drive to an overlook in Port of Spain. And you'd just drive up and look out over the whole expanse of Port of Spain below you. And there would be these guys who were Calypsonians, sort of for hire. And they would come to you, and you would pay them a few bucks. And they would ask you a couple of questions about yourself, your name, your favorite color, how you're doing in school, what do you like, you know, sports-wise, or whatever it was. And they make up a Calypso on the spot. And so this was my introduction to storytelling, was listening to Calypso every year. And because everybody had this expansive album every year, and there are many, many Calypsonians, it's a lot of work. You know, they're producing a lot of work every single year to see which are the songs that are going to take and which are the stories that are going to take and which are the stories everybody's going to be interested in. So that, that really was my introduction to storytelling 